What is the weird paint F1 teams use in testing? F1 testing is the most important time of the year for Formula 1 teams to figure out whether the car they've been building for months on end for the new season is actually any good or not. Yeah, in the simulations it may look impressive, or even when you stick the F1 car in a wind tunnel, everything may point towards the car being bloody quick. However, teams don't truly know whether all the parts work together until the car rolls out on track. Hence why the six days of testing this year, especially with there being such a massive change in the regulations, is so important. One way to check how the aerodynamics are working on the car is the use of Flovis paint. First and foremost, I hate to break it to all of you, but it's not actually paint. It's a fluorescent powder mixed with an oily substance, which is usually paraffin. Teams then apply this paint not paint onto areas of the car that they wish to find out more about aerodynamically. Or if you're McLaren at testing in Barcelona this year, you just paint pretty much everywhere. The mixture itself, crucially, doesn't dry up quickly either. The Flovis paint is able to move freely when the car is moving, so as the car completes a few laps, it'll leave a detailed pattern before eventually drying up. This then gives teams, once the car is back in the garage, an ability to analyse where exactly the Flovis has moved to, and whether it matches what they had predicted coming into testing. You can have all the technology in the world, but when it comes to this, there hasn't been a better solution found to properly testing the flow structure of an F1 car than whacking some green paint on it. You love to see it. Now, there is an incredible amount of information that the teams can get from such a simple solution, and usually they will apply it sparingly only on specific parts of the car they want to learn more about. Why is this? Well, not only can the team applying the Flovis learn a lot about their car, but rival teams too. Don't forget, F1 teams will go out of their way to pay photographers to spy on other teams. So having a rival team covering their car in Flovis paint can give away some of their secrets, because it's literally on the car and you can't really hide it. Once a car has done a run with Flovis paint, most of the time the team will rush to cover up as much of the car as possible when it's in the pit lane. So what are the teams actually looking for when they have done their running? Formula 1 cars work at their best when they're being driven through clean, smooth air. These conditions of undisturbed air are when an F1 car is in its ultimate form, when the aerodynamics are working 100% and maximum downforce is being produced. However, sometimes teams can get their philosophies slightly wrong, and perhaps a certain part of the car is affecting the flow of the air much more than expected. Flovis is a great tool to visualise whether this is the case. Clean air will produce smooth, beautiful lines. Whereas on the other hand, if the car is producing dirty and turbulent air, the lines across the car will be more jagged and less predictable. Teams do not want this, especially when seeing this around the main bodywork, as it means the car is not working to its full potential. There you have it, a look into what Flovis paint is and how teams use it. Do you like the look of the cars when they've applied the paint? Let us know in the comment section below.